Can I help you? If you're here to fix the plumbing, you're in the wrong quarters of the ship. Ah, uh, I'm looking for Dr. Mark Thompson. <clears throat> well, that makes two of us. And you are? Hannah. Hannah Andrews. Andrews, eh? Well, Hannah, I am Chief Detective Irma Patterson. It's an honor, Chief. I have been following your career since I graduated high school. You are one of the main reasons I started in criminology and behavioral science. Strong women examples are so needed in today's divergent climate. Why, thank you, Hannah. That's kind of you to say. But you know, true strength lies in knowing our God-given roles. It's about recognizing the natural order and embracing it with grace. A strong woman is one who supports the men in her life, lifting them up as they lead. After all, isn't that what we're called to do? What we are called to do is solve crime and make the world a safer place. Together, good morning, ladies. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Dr. Thompson. Dope boat, by the way. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This aquatic masterpiece is magnifique, monsieur. Jeez. Brown knows much. Are you bored, Hannah? <laughs> uh. No, 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 sir. Dr. Thompson, what's going on? Why are we here? Hannah? When was the last time you saw your father, Buck Andrews? Yesterday evening at Lachey's. He... Well, he tried his hand at comedy while relapsing after ten years of sobriety. But I haven't seen him since. He wasn't home when I came home from work last night. And he wasn't in his room or anywhere in the house this morning. Oh, yeah. And when I got home, the place was trashed. My dad used to be quite the blackout drunk, so he's probably sleeping it off somewhere under a bridge. I don't know. Yes. I know about his amateur comedy night performance. I was there. I didn't find anything about his bit funny. Very insulting to the LGBTQA, whatever all the letters are. But... To the point, they've brought you here because we're dealing with something far bigger than what you've been told. We have a serial killer on the loose. Someone targeting gay and bisexual men. We believe your father, Hannah, might be involved, or at least knows something. My dad? Involved in this? That's... that's insane. Is it? Considering his actions last night, I'd say it's worth investigating. Dr. Thompson wouldn't bring us out here without a good reason. Looks like I missed quite the show. Hannah, I know this is hard to hear, but we need to consider every possibility. And we need your help to do it. That's why I'm offering you both a unique opportunity. I'm prepared to deputize you both into the FBI for the duration of this case. If we solve this, if we catch the killer, you'll both be offered positions in the Bureau. No need for traditional qualifications or going through the police force. You'll go straight to Quantico for training. Are you serious? This could be my chance, our chance, to make a real difference. So if we catch the galvanizer, you're saying... Wait, the what? The galvanizer. I dubbed them that because of their torture weapon of choice. Well, there is no official name for this monster yet. We... The galvanizer. It's perfect. And... and my dad? What happens to him? If he's innocent. If he's not the galvanizer, we'll prove it. But if he's involved, we need to know. I'm trusting you to help us find the truth. There's one more thing. To get close to our suspect and gather intel, you'll need to go undercover, together. There's an inclusive church in town, one that welcomes everyone but isn't truly affirming. They preach inclusivity, but with an agenda. We need you to pose as a couple to infiltrate the community. A uh, couple? You want us to pretend to be? Yes, a couple. It's the only way to get close enough to gather the evidence we need. I know it won't be easy, but this is the best shot we have. I'm not sure this is a good idea. I can't believe you're asking this of us. Of... of... 
Of me? I mean, you know where I stand on? This lifestyle, sir. It's not a lifestyle. I do, Irma. But this isn't about your personal beliefs. It's about stopping a killer and saving lives. Can you put your convictions aside for the greater good? Lucifer's pride was his downfall, Michael's righteousness his strength, but I, I am the harbinger of divine retribution, the enforcer of God's law.